negocio. Pero levanté esta a pegar y a tener a las compañías de renta. Me parece excelente. Y de repente rentas tu auto y nunca más lo viste, pues se lo llevaron ya para México y ahí Today I got a new train set again. And this time it's a steam locomotive and called the Pacific Flyer. Why get a steam engine you ask? Well if you've been or if you're one of my subscribers you, want, you may know. Because my Chaganula won't work. Anyway. This is my new train set. And I have the right remote that goes with my switch so let's unbox this bada bing bada boom your mom is ah oh, was a boxy this the tender well flew out or well, kind of like i had to stab the back to like get this off because and not the type of plastic wrapping that you could just breach open anyway but luckily this didn't fall on the floor and break because this have handrails. Yeah. Have some weight to it too, which is good. Cause it's a tender and it goes with the engine. Yay! I got another hopper. How many I have of these? Let me let me count. One, two, yeah. And let me tell you something about these boxcars. Boxcars? What am I talking about? Cabooses. I mean, this is a different caboose. Instead of, like, the cupola being in the... Near the middle, it's at the back. And I got fresh couplers, too. That way, and also smoother. Which... Yeah, feel some weight to it. Ah, finally, my first box car. Oh, have doors. Nope, 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 nope. I ain't touching that. It's lead, and I don't like touching lead. Now to traditionally pull this engine out. This engine looks fragile and cheap at the same time. Oh wait, look at that. That beauty. Ooh, it's heavy. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I forgot. Well, I just, yeah, I have kind of less detail compared to, to Chaganuga, which would have more detail if that piece is still there. And let's see, it is about the size of, oh, it is, except smaller. I finally have my first working. Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, 
wait. Oh. I'm scared that I might break this. Where the hell did I put this? Oh, there. I think. Oh. Oh, right here. Oh, I'm a freaking idiot. Ah. Ah. You put it in a slot in on the cab. Yeah. I'll set up the small little, little layout that this set came with. Which is won't be big. But I may make the bigger layout that way for all my trains and for this little guy. Or gal. Well, I don't know what gender this engine is. Oh, wait. Great, the front, the front coupler is fake. Yay. That's bullshit. That's bullshit, Bachman. Anyway, let's build that layout. Wait. I must check if this box was right about that type of remote. Because that remote is compatible with the switch, as you can see with the wire. Where's the scissors again? I want you to see this too. I'm scared. Now I'm gonna cut myself. Actually, I should do this and cut it like this. Anyway, I've got this in a different Hobby Lobby that was near Texas Children's Hospital because one, the Hobby Lobby have a Chattanooga set and this set, when the one that is well closer to me, just have a FT of that set. Oh, another Santa face? Oh, frick, it's blurry. There we go. Anyway, I just have another Santa face set and also a BNSF set. So when are they going to restock on more train sets? That way I could just get them and... They have that new line nail on a Bachman set. Well, let me get the... Yeah, it's at the back of... This issue of Model Railroad Magazine. Let me just get the RXR Halloween Express Engines. This Paper Model Thomas. And my original Paper Model Thomas. My original custom. This is made from my car stock. Well, Sample cards you get from Home Depot. I actually a Christmas tree. Like, like this set right here. This is the only new set that they have in Hobby Lobby. Which I'm hoping they will get this set. That way I could just... Well... Mark off some things that make this train similar to another train. I kept the heavyweight coaches because I like those. And I may, well, paint over North Pole Express and whatever that is. Maybe not. That way, if if I get a Lionel Polar Express set, which maybe not because it's expensive, but maybe I will. We don't know. Well, I could put those behind it because I like six axle heavyweight coaches. Not coach, no heavyweight coaches with small ass wheels. Like this. I don't, I don't freaking know. But I just like six axle heavyweight coaches. They look traditional and normal. I'm trying to fix up my drawer. Let's try to get this out. No way, I'm a professional. Not really. Uh, I should, I should just put, yeah, just put the camera down. Just 
Yep. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but that's gay. That's bullshit. It does the same goddamn remote. It's the same remote. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, yay. Yeah, yeah. I have another remote now. I have three of them. That's bullshit. Yeah, I don't really care. I have two of them. Let's see what description is being had. Let's see if, where, when the, when was the set made? Let's see, uh, uh, blown up image of the old success. Quarantine? Effective in June, uh, January 1st, 2003. List of contacts. Uh, list of contacts. Yeah. Uh, USRA 060 060. Yeah, blown up in. Now let's see what we have. Uh, advertisements. That was made in 2017. I think. Because this was in it. Let's see, uh. Let me just take down. I just ain't my phone. I'm out of Walmart anyway. Get on track or for more fun. Oh, look. There is that available name H1N scale mode thing. Where, like, you make a layout image. Yeah. Also, I don't get it. Like, why did Bachman made HS... Like, made HS scale track with, like, great ballast, yet they have great... They have track with, uh... Black ballast. I'm not being racist. But. But we were given like. I would think. I just thought of something. What would it look like. If you have. If you have easy track with gray and black ball, ballast. Like a pattern. That would, that would make a creative layout. Green is not a creative color. No, 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 no. Anyway, again, the reason why like, I went to this uh, a high lobby down next to the Texas Children's Hospital and why was I at Texas Children's Hospital because like, they had to do a blood, blood sample on me. Don't worry, I'm fine. They just did a blood sample on me, which is less painful than going to the dentist. I can tell you that. And we can all agree that going to the dentist is a painful experience. Including a painful experience that you realize that the train, like the train set that you just bought doesn't have the type of remote that is compatible with the switch. I said that's bullshit. Why you have a different variety of your remote when you have one type of remote? Bachman have a different. Bachman have different types of the remote I have. Like, one is in a blue and yellow color scheme. And that is for the Thomas the Tank Engine train sets. I already got the track out. 
And I've only seen it twice. In the air! Wow! You've never seen that in YouTube before. Even though you're not going to see it. Because I'm not going to put it on my phone. You're just going to hear me talking. And it's going to be bullshit. Because I can't see it. You know what? What the fuck was that? You're going to love me. Yeah, I was just going to say, you're going to like it. If you don't like it, then skip to whatever time that someone put in the uh, comments. Because I ain't going to put it here because laziness. More time, more revenue. Even though I don't get paid in YouTube. And I will never will until I move out of this house. Cause I need money. Cause I come. That went dark already. Now I have more easy track. Now I got more. Now I can put this on the floor and set up the drain. And maybe get the, the rest of the lemon stuff now. Oh, I just got an idea. It could be like Casey Jr.'s train. Circus train. And I really need to get some Katie Coupler for my Chattanooga. But no one cares about Chattanooga. And now they care about the new train set I got. And I need to throw away the box. Oh, look. I can't throw my... I, for, I left it in the box. I can't let it throw it away because that ain't uh, eco-friendly. Uh, let's put the train... Here. You're probably thinking what the hell is happening when don't worry I'm just throwing out boxes and my bed is filled with plastic wrapping and paper. Hey, look at this. This is transformer. Like I don't have many of those. Yeah, I'm disappointed in the box man. Why would you? Oh wait, I'm keeping that blown up in it. Nothing. Trash. Why should I keep the box for a train set? I will keep a box of a very expensive locomotive if I if I ever have the balls or think of buying an expensive locomotive which I won't. And I need space, because I live in a small ass house. Not really, but yeah, it gets the idea. I need space. Look, screw that box. I'm keeping a blown up image. I'm throwing it on the desk of my computer. You know, I really don't care. Now let's put it on the floor. Get the train ready. Da 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 da. No, no. Like, can you tell me in the comments? Like, does this set have lead weights? And tell me if it's the kind of safe to touch lead weights, cause I'm scared. Tell me if it's safe. Uh, ah, fresh new couplers. Finally, some fresh new couplers. Later on in life, these couplers will turn like the couplers. Or, like, bad cup. Like, the couplers on my Santa Fe. And my Black Hopper. Like, they're turning bad. Like, they go, like... Uh, gotta let out air. Uh, look at the train down here. Oh, oh, can check already. Well, no, does Sherlock is up. It's a freaking 060. Of course, it's gonna be easy to put on the track. And can I speak about this? 
which I will. Like, another thing. Why didn't, like, not, like, not a single goddamn model railroad company made a set or a blue comet locomotive in HO scale? Because the blue, oh my goodness, no. That box car cannot hold, no. but look that. This is just a circle. What can you do with a circle? Like, Bachman should do, should do what Homie did. Hornby did. And add switches to their set and make almost every set a small little railroad. Like. Like a. Oop. Well, an oval. Put some switches in there. You can raise the price and you can, like, come put up. You could, and that will be your excuse of why the sets are expensive. Ugh. Let me get the remote set up. Yeah, I have now, I now have three remotes. That way I can blow the shit out of them. That way, I will just have one again and be careful with that one. Yeah, this is where I'm going. Going by so many train sets. Oh. Not many, but like some train sets. And I have so many goddamn remotes. Which I'm not going like do a uh, contest or something like that. Cause one, almost everyone has a easy track. Well, not, uh, a Bachman. And also, like, in that other, ho other Hobby Lobby, like, there's a Chattanooga set. Which, I'm thinking, uh, like, I want to get it for Christmas. But maybe not, maybe, I don't know. Oof, oofy dude the... Caboose fail. Mr. Caboose boost fail. Uh, let's see if it kind of does the same noise as the Taiko Chaganuga with the sidelines. Simple. And also, they should have like did what they should have did what like the old model trains back then did. Like, look, they should have done this with every HSL engine. Like, they should put like a piece right here that way. When a train goes over like every tire can make some chuffing noise. If you don't know what I'm talking about, like you know those old Triang and Hornby train sets. Like you know every tender engine will have like some piece or, or almost every steam locomotive. But back then you didn't you don't have DCC. You just have DC power. And that is good. Kind of, cause anyway, like there will be like a sand, like a pe plastic piece poking out from the tender, and every time when the train goes over a tie, oh no, duh, it will make a chuffing noise. That's kind of creative, and I like, kind of like that. Like you should put that in every. Star set because uh, most like, most star sets will be bought by a child because why would a why would a model railroad or would buy like a train set when they could just buy a separate locomotive since they have a layout? Well, I would get it because well, I I want more rolling stock and more engines. 
Whatever wrong stuff will work. At least it's not this. Oops. He derailed. Oof. Like I'm not, I'm not thinking. Like should I paint the top like that normal red that will be on top of some Union Pacific abuse or not? I don't know. Well, let me just get my straights, my switches, and the rest of my rolling stock, and maybe some of my trains. And of course, Chattanooga over there. Yeah, Chattanooga. Everything ready. In 3, 2, 1, you will see a perfect little layout. There we go. Ah, a Union Pacific with a Union Pacific. And this is a reasonable reasonable amount. See, that's the problem with my black hopper. Well, kind of decouple. Also, I broke the couple of, of the back of my uh, for exciting caboose. Yeah. Well, I, I almost will use this coupler for my Atheron GP40 since. Well, that would just grab on the uh, horn hook anyway. Let's see what train will pull this train. Uh, this little girl. Three, two, one. The little engine is on the track. All aboard. Oh, oh, I said I'm not gonna do it because it's cringy when I do it. Let's see if it has the power to pull this. Did it just. Oh, frick, it just will slip. Oh, oh, oh. oh the little bit. Oh, hey, look at that. Well, it struggles to lift. His father is to pull the train. Like, just look when it's real slip. That was remarkable. Oh. Oh, look at that little engine go. Oh, I think this little engine needs a helper. Come on, Alfred Seven. Help the, help the little girl. Okay. Eh. Oof. Sorry. Sorry. I'll oh, be back on the track. Mm. Mm. Yep, no one knows where this camera is pointing at. Try not to be cringy. Because if I do, I will be put where these fuckers are. And these fuckers are fucking cringy, I tell you. Look at their shit. Some we even make a video of a freaking train going to Auschwitz. And they even put the German version of Polar Express. You know how you know how fucked up that is. Real sh fucked up. Wait, can the wait? Can I Norfolk Southern pull it? Oh, can't. Oh wait. Just that miss. No news on our train. No. Anyway, as I was saying, like one one fucker even like. Did a video of a freaking train, an an armored train going to Auschwitz with minions. Yeah, that's fucking messed up. I even reported him in one of his videos. Let's hope Roblox. Let's hope, uh. No, not Roblox, uh. YouTube. Take my report. Well, let's just hope a Jew finds out what he done. That way, he will put it on the nose. 
and we will have full justice. Cause that, because us train train fans, YouTube will not listen to us. And let's see if there's no this little engine. No. Ah, let me think how to talk up. Let's hope this big engine will help this little engine. God dang it, mate. God dang it, mate. Wait. Look at that little guy go. There it goes. What the heck? Frick, now it looks like the lights are off. Oh, uh, wait. There we go. It's so bright, it's like even um there we go. Another thing, there's something wrong with my Santa Fe engine. Look, it looks normal, just ignore that broken horn. But look, the back truck is loose. Oh sh! Nah. Fuck me up, my nah, nah, no. <clears throat> that probably made it even worse anyway. Like, there's something wrong with the back truck. It's loose. Yeah. It kind of... Yeah, it's loose. Shit, no. Mm. I might feel like that guy that gets mad after he gets himself electrocuted. <laughs> It's me, Dirty Dave. Someone stole my saxophone. And now I've been kidnapped. Ah! Hey everyone, look, it's Edward's day out again. No, I got my foot on this train. That was disgusting. There's half. Motherfucker.